Some people have been using medicine never meant for them. For the smaller dress or tux. Taking aim at Hollywood's apparent embrace of weight loss drugs, Eli Lilly's new ad campaign, Big Night, suggesting those who use the medications for vanity are standing in the way of people who really need them. People whose health is affected by obesity are the reason we work on these medications. It matters who gets them. The maker of Manjaro and Zetbound, writing diabetes and anti-obesity medications were not studied for, are not approved for, and should not be used for cosmetic weight loss. I think it's quite unusual for a pharmaceutical company to come out with an ad like this where they're essentially discouraging you know, certain parts of the population from asking for this drug. The prevalence of the medications in Hollywood has become an open secret. Jimmy Kimmel joking about it at last year's Oscars. Everybody looks so great. When I look around this room, I can't help but wonder, is Ozempic right for me? Chelsea Handler telling the Call Her Daddy podcast she briefly took Ozempic without realizing. And I'm like, well, what is it? I go, I'm on semaglutide. And she goes, that's, that's so, what so it is. <laughs> and perhaps most famously, Oprah revealing last year she uses a weight loss medication, telling People magazine, I now use it as I feel I need it as a tool to manage not yo-yoing. The drug's skyrocketing popularity has driven a shortage while fueling record profits for manufacturers. Novo Nordisk, the maker of Ozempic and Wagovi, recently valued at more than $500 billion, writing in a statement that they are committed to the responsible use of our medicines. But that's not the point. While some are skeptical of the intentions behind drug makers' recent messaging, Dr. Roshni Raj believes Lilly's new campaign makes an important statement. This is not a drug that should be part of a Hollywood fad or trend. This is a serious treatment uh, that can be life-saving in, in some cases and, and should be treated as such. Now, all that being said, Em, a lot of people do want this drug, and it is in an injection form, but there's been talk about having it in a pill form. Is that on the way? Yeah, certainly it's something that is being closely watched. Numerous companies are working to develop a pill form of weight loss drugs. Novo Nordisk, among them the maker of Ozempic, it saw its price of its shares shoot up after recently announcing that really promising early phase one of an experimental drug that would be oral form. It showed that the participants lost about 14 percent of their weight over a 12-week period. That is more effective than Wagovi. Still, it's very important to underscore it's an experimental drug, just finished phase one. It could yep. be years before something like this really hits the market because gets that FDA approval. All right, Em, thank you so much. Thanks, we appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.